Yo, what's going on guys, Xanax here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to do these 90s that I'm showing you guys right now in the background. Now guys, these are infinite 90s is what I like to call them. They're pretty much 90s, but instead of having to go ramp up like you guys are seeing right there, um, all you guys need to do is use a no jump 90 in the middle there. And so guys, this is what you guys are going to be able to do at the end of this. So this is the speed that you guys are going to be seeing. Uh, this is now going to be comparing the regular 90s and the infinite 90s the infinite 90s are on the top left and the regular on the top right uh, bottom right so you guys could see 5.2 seconds versus 6.11 there is around a one second uh, decrease in time using the infinite 90s so nothing insane it's nothing to uh, take place of regular 90s because they're they uh, regular 90s also have their advantages so now guys the reason why it's faster is when you guys are doing and right here you go up and if you guys see i'll put a little arrow so you guys can see the distance that you need to run while doing your 90s is less than when you have to uh when you do regular 90s when you have to go up so you could uh recharge your jump fatigue guys so uh that's about it i'm going to tell you guys a couple tips now and explain why they're faster when to use and why not to uh, there's just going to be a background footage right here of just a regular scrim match in arena i'm going to be telling you guys how to do them what to make them uh how you can make them easier etc etc all right guys so right off the bat guys like i already said these 90s should not be replacing your regular 90s because they also have disadvantages if you guys only use these one type of 90 it would become really predictable in the way you play so let's say you're in a build battle right and you have to do uh three sets of three 90s and and you keep on doing that over and over again they'll catch on and they might break you down or since in these infinite 90s you could only go straight up you don't move to the side like you do as regular 90s it could get really predictable and they could just get high ground over you really easily although they are slower uh, their 90s could outbeat yours because of how predictable yours are now guys the infinite 90s work with any type of 90s this could be mongrel 90s this could be um regular 90s this could be streamer 90s etc etc all type of 90s work with this method all it is is just doing a non-jump uh 90 in the middle in between it uh, in between the pairs of three so that way there's no jump fatigue yet you're still doing 90s over and over and over again so you guys remember this um there is 100 gonna be faster methods in fact there's probably faster methods that outbeat the infinite 90s i'm not saying these are the fastest in the world that that's not a claim that i'm saying guys i'm just saying that these are definitely faster than regular 90s streamer 90s i haven't really tested with mongol 90s but if you guys saw that comparison that comparison was about three hours of me testing and i got both of them both uh both times was the best time i got in those three hours of playing um i even had to restart the game because of how long I was doing it, I kept on trying to beat my time. I'd beat it and then redo it, beat it, redo it, beat it, redo it. And so I finally got the the results I was happy with. And so that was the best time on both of the methods. So it's not scanned, it's not scuffed or anything, guys. So yeah, guys, infinite 90s beats regular and streamer 90s. You guys could test down below with Mongol 90s, etc., etc. I don't know those. I don't know how to do those. So, guys, if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a comment down below testing my theory to see if it beats those type of 90s as well. Just because of the less travel distance that you guys have. Also, guys, another thing that I want to point out is I do not believe that I created these 90s. I do not think that. I think that someone else has done these before. I'm just making a video because I find that these 90s, whenever I do a one-on-one -on -one or something like that, they do tend to get me high ground quicker and faster than regular 90s. Now guys, this isn't the easiest technique to do, but with a tiny bit of practice, you guys could get the positioning perfectly, and you guys could uh, learn how to do these uh, fluently, whether it be in game, 1v1s, etc. Guys, I really recommend that you guys learn how to do these because it could definitely be a help while, like I said, doing creative 1v1s or playing games. Definitely has helped me out, guys. So now I'm just going to leave this footage back in the background so you guys can finish it off if you guys would like to watch it. If not, then hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. Good. Bye.
times 700 mats. Hey, I'm above you. I'm making a push for height. I have height. I got a kill too. I got semi height. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop down to you. I'm two. I'm like 310 mats. Okay, here, here. I split my brick. Yeah, break it. I'm gonna break the tree. Or that tree. It's going back. It's going back. Let's go.